Hey y'all, welcome to my craft room. It is a little um, messy in here. So I haven't had time to really play and get online and film any videos, but I figured I would just do a Facebook Live on the project that I'm working on. And I have made some holographic dashboards. So I see this holographic paper all over Instagram right now. And then I also see people who print their own um, acetate. And it's always been really intimidating to me to print your own acetate. Y'all, it is so easy to print it. It's fun. Hey, that's Hermenia. Hi, Hermenia. Um, so, what you need to print your own acetate. Very simple. I found this at Hobby Lobby. It's the computer graphics paper. One side of it has a little bit of a matte finish to it, and then one side of it has that really smooth, glossy finish. And that's how I printed these. It works with any inkjet printer. I do recommend slowing down your print speed, so make sure that you go in and you mark that you're using um, a glossy paper, so it'll kind of slow down so it doesn't smear, and it gives it time to dry as it's coming out. The other thing you are going to need is this holographic peel and stick paper. So the holographic peel and stick paper, I found it at Hobby Lobby and it's on sale right now. So it just kind of peels off. It's like an adhesive and it comes in a couple of different styles. This one is the clear. So that's how I got that prism effect behind my dashboard. So like I said, I've been seeing them. They're really, it was really intimidating looking at them. Look, here's my little scrap test piece. So you can see that it comes off clear. And you can just put it on your die cuts. I've seen it a lot on die cuts lately. I haven't seen it on any um, like dashboards. So I'm not making dividers. I'm strictly just making the clear, um, little dashboard pieces that I use in my planner that I put like my post-it notes on it. Um, I'm trying to find one real quick. I'm kind of in the process of moving my March stuff out and trying to get it set up for April. But like I said, I've just, I've been working crazy hours so I haven't had a chance to. I can't find something like this. So it's, oh look, I forget I'm at a weird angle. Um, so it's just making like one of these clear acetate tabs that you can put like sticky notes on. So again, it's really, really super easy to print. Use your own digital artwork. You're gonna print it. Um, and then the last thing that you're gonna need is your trimmer. So what I do is I came in with my paper that I wanted to use, the print that I want to use. My binder right now, I'm using a um, personal sized um, planner, which has 3.75 pages. I'm actually cutting my sheet at four inches, and then you're just going to cut it and you're going to take it off. This is so weird doing it at this angle. I need to find a way to do it at a little bit better of an angle. And then what I'm gonna do is these sheets come in 12 by 12 sheets. So I'm gonna cut off a piece that's gonna be at least the 6.75, which is the length. This sheet is right at seven inches. So that's gonna be perfect. And then I'm just gonna come in and I'm gonna cut it four inches wide also. So now I have the two pages that are four inches wide. So it's gonna end up looking something like that. <laughs> okay, let's see if I can do this at a wonky angle. Maybe if I move this closer to the floor. Oh, it's charging. 
you still don't get a very good view. You get a good view of my messy craft room. I do most of my crafts in the floor. I'm kind of strange that way. I have a desk it, that's really big and it has plenty of room. But yeah, I never work at my desk. So I'm going to peel the backing off of it. I'm not going to take it all the way off the backing. I'm just going to kind of peel that top edge down a little bit. Almost like you're doing an adhesive um, sticker, like when you put stickers on um, a window. And then I'm going to line it up at the top. Now, the reason I cut it a little bit wide is so I don't have to be 100% accurate with this. I don't have the patience, the time, or the energy to sit here and make it 100% right. I do recommend doing it on a flat surface though because now I have bubbles in it. So you can see where because I didn't have it on a flat surface, I ended up with bubbles. I'm just taking a straight edge and I'm just pushing those air pockets out of it. And if I have any air pockets left, I want to try and get them at either the top or the bottom edge or those sides because that's where I'm going to trim. And you can see when you squeegee over it. I know there's probably like some fancy technical term. But when you squeegee over it, it takes the bubbles out. And the reason I want those bubbles out is so it'll look like one solid piece of acetate and not like I stuck a sticker on a piece of acetate, which, y'all, that's honestly all we're doing. So now I have, and it, the camera is making it look funny. So now I have the glittery. It's funny because when I look at it in the camera, I'm seeing little air bubbles. But when I look at it in person, I'm not seeing the little air bubbles. So what I'm going to do now is trim it down to the size that I need. So because the glitter paper was shorter, I'm going to start on that end. Well, actually, let me actually get in here and measure it because I want to make sure I have enough that I can trim the top and the bottom because at the top it was kind of gnarly looking. Okay, so I've trimmed off the bottom edge and now I'm going to come in and I'm going to make this 6.75 inches tall. Perfect, and that took off all that bubble that was at the top of it, and then I have a match at the bottom. And then I want to make this 3.75 inches wide, so it will sit flush with the rest of my planner pages. So I am now going to see what side I like best, where it says stay wild. I want, I'm gonna trim this side of it down because that's the prettier side. Oops, move your squeegee thingy out of the way. Again, I'm sure there's some kind of technical term for that. So, if you enjoy doing these little DIYs yourself, we now have a Facebook group. So, you can find us on Facebook at We Got a Plan. It's a great group of ladies. They've been sharing ideas on um, crafts that they're doing on their self and their own little planner hacks and things that they're doing to kind of help jazz up their planner a little bit on a budget so you can find us on facebook at we got a plan so now we have it and then you just take your crop which 
I don't know where my crop went. Where did my crocodile go? Oh, look. I'm sitting behind it. I'm sitting in a weird spot in my office because um, I needed to um, charge. So this is what it looks like when it's going to sit on paper. So because I have writing on it, I want to make sure that I'm rounding off my corners. I don't do mine on all four corners. I like the way the Franklin Covey Planner trims the inside corners to make it a little bit easier to go around the um, rings. So I tend to only nip my insides. Now, if I'm working with pre-printed acetate or I have laminated something and these corners are a risk of nicking me, then I may do those at a quarter instead of a half. And then I am going to take my punch. And I love this punch, y'all, for my ring bound planner. It, I honestly have not stuck anything in this punch that it would not successfully go through where it was getting stuck. Like, you know how sometimes you can get those punches that just don't do very well. So, I have it in my rings on my planner. And now I have a dashboard for my Go Wild. And it's hard, there's not enough light to really see that holographic prism. But that is how you would do it. And again, when I'm looking at it in person, I don't see those streaks that I'm seeing when I hold it up to the camera. I think the camera is just catching all the little air bubbles. And, you know, I didn't lay it on a flat surface when I did it. This one has no bubbles in it. And I laid it flat to do it. So, there are two of those nifty little holographic-y kind of acetate. So, again, don't let the acetate scare you. I was always scared of printing my own. Um, so, this was the acetate that we used. And then the holographic peel and stick paper at the Hobby Lobby is where I got this. And I was very fortunate. I got the last three sheets of it. I was so excited because I'm going to be making all kinds of stuff holographic. So, again, <laughs> if you enjoyed the video, please give it a big th thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Um, I will be off next weekend, so I have a couple videos that still need to be edited um, and uploaded. I just kind of figured this would be quick and easy. Um, so subscribe, hit the little bell for the reminder of when videos go up. And if you like sharing, um, your planner ideas or the little tips and tricks that you have with your planner, please don't forget to subscribe to our Facebook group. Um, until then, remember, we all got a plan that we all do it a little bit differently. Enjoy! Happy St. Patrick's Day, y'all! Bye!